and, and Jen go, going up against each other. And now we have two other great players that that uh, often pull up here. We got Ishtar and Dill. And we start things off Ooh, on wow. Town and City. Oh, you're already having the Grape Skittles up. <laughs> yeah, Ishtar just throwing them out immediately and getting now, the uh, the three stack. Now, al although um, Rob might have a bit of a hard time like getting in on Sephiroth, Rob does have other things su such as uh, his neutral B and of course his gyro, which is a real, real great projectile. It's it's great for a lot of things. It's great for like quite quite a bit of setups, um, it, and it could be like pretty dang good for neutral, and it's especially good for ledge trapping as well. Yeah, no, Rob is just you know one of those great characters because he can play at really most ranges. You know, up close, Rob has great options. You know, like down tilt or like. Rob gets so much out of grabs, and then at mid and long range, like you were talking about before, those projectiles. So, I mean, with the way that Ishtar plays, oh wow, that was oh, actually wait, really up. smart by Ishtar that? to just poke yeah. himself on that uh, the gyro to get the wing. But, I mean, the way that Ishtar plays, Ishtar wants to keep you at a very specific range where he yeah. can threaten with the Ooh, sweet spot nice catch F smash side, like that. Yeah. Rob players gotta be gotta be careful with those side bees. Although the, although they can um and some pretty dang nice setups. I think that was a shield poke. So great stuff coming and, out. And from it's a Ishtar. pretty dang nice kill move. That does have a whole lot of end lag, and a, and quite a bit of characters can easily punish that pretty dang hard. But much like how Ishtar did right with that first stock. Bowed up. Yep, catching them a ledge with that regret. Yeah, not getting another uh, shield poke there, unfortunately, for Ishtar. How do you get back? Nice getup attack, actually using the gyro to extend the hitbox. And Ishtar gets to live a little bit longer while Dill still has to find this first stock. Woo! Ishtar using that speed of Sephiroth to just make his way back down. Oh, and that's nice catch on the drop of that gyro. Even on just a Z drop gyro, that counter did a lot of damage. I think. Uh, How much damage did it even do exactly? I think it did like. 20 or 30, but I mean, that I think, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure Sephiroth's, uh, Sephiroth has the highest multiplier for um, physical counters in the in the game. Oh, okay, not Christ. able to finish out the, uh, the, 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 the gyro combo. Combo, but hey, that's, that's a good thing for Ishtar, because, Jesus Christ, that, <laughs> that, that, that probably could, would have ended up with them losing their stock right there. I like the adaptation there from Dill, uh, actually spacing herself outside of the gyro to try and catch Ishtar going for that same getup attack with a forward smash. Just barely misspaced it, but you know the adaptation is there. Now, Ishtar has the wing. Oh, try Ooh, nice, nice job by Dill. Just like waiting a little bit there, Just waiting on Ishtar, like trying to trying to do something. Yeah, Sephiroth right there, especially has with a day. Sephiroth has such great uh, ledge traps, but I mean, Dill no stranger to stalling out, out the ledge, especially we see Dill do it so often where she'll just stall right underneath the ledge and then come up with a hitbox. I mean, hey, with, with a recovery like Rob's, you're dead. That's the, that's right, the why, tombstone. Why, why, why not? Especially if, you, <laughs> if, if you're dealing with a character like Sephiroth. Yeah, and I mean, kind of the way that Sephiroth has to edge guard. I, I was saying he has very good edge guarding tools because they're so big, but they are also so committal. I feel like you cannot go for like a, a down air or a, an angled octa slash unless you know you're going to be hitting. Oh, like that. It's going to be a jab lock F smash. Ishtar still trying to find this uh, second stock off of Dill. Good God. Has been a little rough. Those are some strange down smashes, unless uh, Ishtar was expecting uh, Bill to like, land uh, like right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I, I do kind of get it because with Wing, uh, Sephiroth smash attacks get armor. But I mean. Yeah, th there is that. And on top of that, uh, down smash uh, seems to have very little end lag as, as well. Yeah. So well, maybe they, they were like trying to bait out an option from Bill. Ooh. Ishtar just has. It, it just feels like. Dill's been advantaged for so long. Ishtar finally getting gyro in hand, but not getting anything out of it. Still has to find this stock. And I mean, with so much damage that you're putting on Dill right now in um, in service of trying to find this stock, you know, that's a lot of uh, wing timer being wasted. So I'm a little curious to see how much the, the wing will last if Ishtar is able to get 
this uh, second stock. Oh, oh ah, just a little bit slow the on the trigger. And there's that nair to take that last stock. That was actually a really weird interaction. I feel like uh, Ishtar really did not want to land on that town and city platform coming back in, but and it just put him in the worst position to just get Rob naired. Yeah, yeah. And, and given like just Sephiroth's uh, weight and all that stuff, as well as them like just being at a pretty dang high percent, yet it ain't too surprising that that that, uh, that the Nair killed. Yeah, I, I heard Pyra and I was like, who? <laughs> I'm like, huh? I know, I know Dill's not playing Pyra. Come on now. <laughs> all right, so coming in to PS2 as our counter pick. So, you know, the. The longer blast zones are going to be giving Ishtar a little bit more time to live off of the side. You know, Town and City such a good rob stage because of how early that she can kill off of the side. But yeah. We're see, you know, I would imagine, it's, especially with uh, with, with some some of the setups that that rob uh, has, it, it, especially with, with uh, setups such as like, but like, uh, if, if I'm mistaken, like up throw forward and forward, it's like the side B. I, th I think that's one. Yeah, but I mean, and we're gonna pretty dang early. we're gonna have to see how you know Ishtar is able to use these platforms because, like I was saying before, the PS2 platform layout can benefit zoners so well. They can really just set up shop underneath these platforms, and I don't really know how well we saw Ishtar um, utilizing the platforms in uh, Game One on Town and City. So I mean, if you're just doing this for the survivability. I don't know if PS2 was the uh, best option. And you can even see the way that Dill just throws down the gyro right in front of the PS2 platform. It makes that area so difficult to navigate. You really have to thread yeah. the needle in uh, getting under there, or you have to go super high and commit. Yeah, and either way, just, just like putting down that, that gyro right there is just going to either make, make uh, Ishtar want to like either try to grab it or like try to go like right over it. And if and if Ishtar does try to go right over it, then they, that's a free anti with either an up tilt, an up air, or an up smash, perhaps. And I think we're seeing Ishtar maybe a little bit uncomfortable in this matchup right now. We saw Dill, you know, stalling at the ledge again, and Ishtar just kind of walked back to give give up space. And I I don't really know how I feel about that, considering how you know ledge trapping and edge guarding such an important part of the Sephiroth game plan. That is a jumpless Ishtar coming back. Just ah, but barely going to be able to make it back. Ishtar still hanging on. Almost had that up to so. find an anti-air. That's dash tag though. Kind of thrown out the flare. You know, the, the tiny, like, single charge flare, not going to be doing it too much for Ishtar, especially the way that Dill can just go oh, everywhere. Just going right in with that dash tag. Yep, using it to bad, uh, get past the gyro. All oh. right, how's your mash? But that's going to be it But that second stock right there. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Ishtar failed the Mario Party minigame of being downthrown by Rob. <laughs> Mario Party minigame. Oh my god. All right, only, uh, only able to get the single the Nair out of the up tilt. All right, great All right. counter. So important for Ishtar because, you know, Dill was looking for uh, edge trap, edge guarding setups. Okay. Was that, that, was that Sephiroth's, like, upward item thrown animation? I don't think I've ever seen that. He just kind of casually, like, throws it up <laughs> one-handed. I've never seen that. That's so funny. I mean, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not too surprised giving out, giving out Sephiroth be like. That, 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 that seems like a very Sephiroth thing to do. All right, great match that time from Ishtar, but oh, getting caught oh, by the Jesus. down tilt trains. Have to find his, has to find his way off of the ledge right now. Oh, oh no! Dang. You tried, tried to get the counter, but mm -mm, that side B do be reflecting projectiles, it and that counter do does be count as a projectile. I'm actually curious that how much damage it. that did. All right, let's start with 106 see. right now. Hold up, uh, 106, and they ended up at 132. 132. So that's a lot for countering just a single hit yeah, of, like of Rob Sipe. Yeah, that's that's big. Good God, <laughs> big damage. All right.